As we deliver Kumba's record first half performance, we face trying times for all South Africans against the backdrop of a second year of the COVID-19 pandemic. Before I share our results highlights, I would like to pay tribute to all the healthcare workers, including our own medical team, who have worked tirelessly through the ongoing pandemic to help their fellow South Africans. I would also like to express, on behalf of the entire Kumba family, our condolences to all of those that have lost loved ones. Sadly, we've lost 21 of our colleagues since the onset of the pandemic. We feel for their loss and we grieve with their families and loved ones. With our COVID-19 protocols firmly embedded at the workplace, and with extensive physical and mental health support available to our employees, contractors and their families, we continue to do everything possible to help keep our people healthy and safe. We also ensure that those who can are working from home. This has meant that we have not experienced any material COVID-related disruptions since Level 5 last year. This is despite the various mutations of the virus, which has become more transmissible. On the 17th of July, we rolled out our own vaccination program, working with government and Anglo-American, and we are encouraged by the improvements we have seen in the vaccine availability and registrations. The vaccine rollout plan for communities has been discussed and aligned with both the provincial and regional departments of health. The plans support the vaccination rollout by providing transportation, the necessary consumables and equipment to support the department, as well as certain medical staffing for the rollout acceleration. In addition, we have established vaccine centers at most of our operations for our workforce and eventually their families further helping our communities. I want to encourage everyone who is eligible to receive the vaccine to register and get their jab as soon as possible. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to a medical professional for more information. By getting vaccinated, we can all do our part to help save lives and restore and protect people's livelihoods. I have played my part and I've got my first jab. As part of our We Care program, we also continue to support our communities through food supplies to vulnerable households, water supply to our communities, support to schools, clinics and hospitals, and investments in centers that support victims of gender-based violence. Our We Care program to manage and mitigate the effects of the pandemic has made an enormous difference by providing over 100 million rand to support our employees, contractors and communities. Sadly, the devastating effects of COVID-19 were compounded by July's social unrests. While geographically remote from our minds, the social and economic effects ripple outwards and affect us all. Kumba is working with the rest of Anglo-Americans, South African businesses to address the wider impact of the recent social unrest, building on our We Care program. We will provide an additional 250 million rand to our We Care program. 150 million rand will be used to expand our current employee contractor and community support by working with NGO partners to provide financial assistance, food relief packages, and other necessities. An additional 100 million rand will go to projects that stimulate economic growth at a local and regional level. This will go towards, amongst others, youth training and employment, educational support towards bursaries and scholarships, SMME funding and training, as well as infrastructure projects. Together, 
with Anglo-American companies. We will also collaborate with government, civil society and business to contribute to new initiatives that can build and reset South Africa and its economy. In June this year, in collaboration with partners from business and government, we also launched the Impact Catalyst, a multi-sector initiative that will improve economic development, the health, well-being, and general living conditions of our host communities across the Northern Cape. The Impact Catalyst is part of our collaborative regional development program, which is at the heart of our sustainable mining plan. These partnerships allow us to deliver on our commitment of building the foundations for the long term, along with sustainable development in our host regions, far beyond the life cycle of the mine. Despite all of these challenges, the company has performed exceptionally well, allowing us to deliver for all of our stakeholders. On the safety front, I am delighted that in the first half, we marked five years of fatality-free production. This is a truly exceptional achievement and testament to our values and to the commitment of all of our employees and contractors. Returning to our performance, let me pick out some highlights. In the first six months of 2021, we created an extraordinary 51 billion rand in shared value for our stakeholders. Research and global demand for commodities saw prices and industry profits rise, with mining contributing much higher than forecast tax revenues to South Africa, helping ease the national debt and strengthen the rand. Kumba played its part by contributing close to 10 billion rand in tax revenues and mineral royalties to the fiscus in the first six months of 2021. We have paid 2.8 billion rand in salaries and benefits to our workforce. We also supported BEE and host community suppliers with 6.6 .6 billion rand of total spend in the first half. In addition, we contributed 85 million rand of direct social investment, which includes our We Care COVID support for communities. Turning to the business, our Tuelelo Pile strategy of margin enhancement continues to deliver. From the 2017 base, EBITDA pattern has increased almost five-fold. Despite the logistical constraints and weather disruptions, we delivered a strong operational performance, with production increasing by 12% to 20.4 million tons and sales increasing by 3% to 19.5 million tons. The strong iron ore price, together with our product premium, allowed us to achieve an average realized FOB price of $216 per ton. This is more than double the $91 per ton achieved in the first half of last year. As a result, our EBITDA margin rose to 70%, an excellent result, and up from 55% this time last year. Building on last year's momentum, in the first six months of 2021, Kumba delivered an exceptional EBITDA of 44.4 billion rand, an equally impressive ROSI of 225%. Thus, I am pleased to say that with attributable free cash flow of 31.5 billion rand, the board has declared a record half-year dividend of 72 rand and 70 cents per share. This will return more than 23 billion rand to our shareholders, an increase of 227% over last year. Looking ahead, let me outline what we currently expect for the remainder of 2021. We have revised the full year guidance on sales, waste and unit costs that we gave 
at the 2020 annual results to accommodate the ongoing weather and logistical challenges. In the second half of the year, we will focus on recovering our efficiencies and cost performance. To make us more efficient and sustainable, we are shifting some work from contractors to our employees and deploying new technologies. Our CapEx guidance has been revised down by 3 billion rand, largely due to the rephasing of work and equipment. We envisage continued demand for high quality iron ore and positive market fundamentals, although perhaps not at the same levels as the first half. Quality remains integral to our positioning within the market as a niche producer whose quality product leaves us well positioned for a decarbonized future. Looking ahead, we are conscious that the pandemic is still far from over. And so we will continue to focus on safety, safeguarding the health of the workforce and implementing our We Care program. But we are confident that we can continue to build on our track record of preserving and enhancing lives and livelihoods and delivering value for all of our stakeholders. In closing, I would like to thank our Kumba employees and contractors for their hard work and commitment, the board for their leadership and guidance, and our partners and stakeholders for their continued support. Thank you.